Welcome to my favourites. First of all, I did make the bed look lovely and neat and tidy and Betty Boo basically jumped up and she makes nests. She drags covers and everything all over. So I remade it and she basically remade her nest. So apologies for the untidy bed, but you know, Betty lives here and who am I to interfere with her nest? So, May favourites. May, a funny month. We've had incredible weather. I've had skin issues, which I've written about on my blog, so go see that. I've also mentioned in a video where I've just done a May catch-up. Um, I believe I over-exfoliated with an exfoliant that contains salicylic acid. And many of you know, because I have an aspirin allergy, salicylic is the same family as aspirin. And if you overuse it, I can create a reaction on my skin, and that's basically what I did. However, it has had sort of a red patch here, here, and here, and I don't know if I'm going from that to maybe it was rosacea starting. But there's a lot of products I've been using that have actually helped my skin, so they've been my favourites because I've literally stuck to these like glue. And incredibly, they're all oldies, but goodies. They're old favourites from the past that I still use. And I tried a lot of newbies and they just did nothing. They made it worse. One thing that really um, my skin didn't like and it actually, I could feel it stinging my face, was the Giorgio Armani Maestro Glow. Out of the blue suddenly. It doesn't mind the luminous silk, but it really didn't like this when I used it. So I've had to be very careful what I've put on my face. Um, it could just be one of those things where I have an allergy and it'll be fine. It is, even though we're by the sea, the pollen has been quite high and tree pollen I have an allergy to and I have been more susceptible this year. And sometimes when I have um, hay fever allergy, it can also show on my skin. So it could be a combination of lots of things. But I will keep you updated. But it is getting better, a lot better than it was. So, May favourites. Lots of skin, a bit of colour and books that I've been reading as well. So let's begin with the products that I've been using. Now this I think has appeared in quite a few favourites but I basically have cleansed my skin, I've used the Jane Scrivener cleanser and I've used either Emma Hardy or the Holistic Green um, chocolate cleanser which has worked beautifully with my skin, really calmed it. And I've basically done that, sprayed Cerazinc and then I've put a layer of the Jasmine and Lily Healing Mask from Shantakai over it. Very cooling, very soothing and I've just gone to bed with this on and it's really helped calm my skin and take the irritation down. A massive, massive favourite. Other things I've been using, um, Advanced Night Repair from Estee Lauder, just the simple serum I've used this morning and evening and just a few little drops and pressed it into my face, particularly the areas of concern. And again, I've had no irritation, but I've just felt it's worked. It's just soothed my skin. An oldie, but definitely a goodie. I've then gone in with another favourite, the Clarins um, Facial Oil. This time it's the Blue Orchid, which is for dehydrated skin. And I've let the Advanced Night Repair sort of soak in, soothe in, and then I've applied a few drops and pressed this into my skin. It just all seems to work. The alchemy works beautifully together. So morning and evening. I've stuck to the same routine for both. And then obviously evening it's depended. So sometimes I've obviously just left that on. Other times I've done my Estee Lauder, my Clarins. And then I've put on the Blue Cocoon from May Lindstrom, which has Blue Tansy, which is a really good ingredient for soothing any redness, irritated, angry skin. So I've applied that and then gone to bed with that on. I've also found a brand that does a Blue Tansy balm. This is natural wisdom. It is a lot cheaper than the Blue Cocoon, but it's early days. But I am, I shall show you them both side by side so you can see. It is a small pot. The Blue Cocoon's about 170 odd pounds, and this I think is about 12 pounds 50. Could be more, but a lot less. You know what I'm saying. But Blue Tansy, I always find, um, really calms my skin. Um, beautifully so I have been putting that on if I haven't used the mask in the day I've done all that 
but instead of applying the blue cocoon i've been putting some of the estee lauder renutriv replenishing comfort cream on which is just the most luxurious moisturizer you can use it morning or evening oh i just love the smell of it it just works it really does suit the skin keeps it hydrated but soothes and calms and it really has helped me with my very troublesome skin another product um i ran out of it and i replaced it was the clarins skin repair skin beauty repair concentrate sos treatment which i always have one always have one and if i haven't gone to bed with just shanty on I've gone to bed with just the SOS. So those two have been my sort of first aid, immediate ones I reached for when I realised I needed something reliable and that I trusted, those two. So mainly everything has been an old favourite, something I've used, like Clarins, I've been using their facial oils for over 20 years, Advanced Night Repair, it's probably coming up to 15, 20 years, Comfort Cream, the same. Blue Cocoon is probably the newer of the oldies, and obviously the Natural Wisdom is completely new for the Blue Tansy, but they've been my rescue first aid cabinet for my skin. <sighs> skin done, colour. Right, these you'll have seen in my Glossier um, haul video. I didn't expect to love them as much as I do, but I really, really do. It is the Eye Slicks. Are they eye slicks? Eye sticks? Eye slicks. Um, I got three, the shades that I really, really love. The others I just don't think would suit me. I've got Fawn, I've got Cub, and I've got Herb in this sort of test tube packaging, which I love. And they have been tremendous. I love them. You do get quite a nice colour from them. I put sort of a layer on and then I put a second layer on they do dry down and I don't find that they crease or collect in my eye crease at all they really do stay put and they give a beautiful finish I also love to use them under the eye as well they're just really easy to use I love them my favorite I thought was going to be fawn because I do love that sort of mink tone but I've actually fallen completely for cub i love it it's so iridescent but beautiful and it brings out the green of my eyes and it's just the most lovely product to work with i love the consistency i love the longevity really beautiful and i hope that they bring out some more shades as well but i have been obsessed just easy to apply and blend quickly with your finger you can use the foam applicator or you can use a brush they're just really easy to use and i've love them next my other obsession has been the Too Faced sweetie pie this i absolutely love it's their sort of matte bronzer and i do like bronzers that have the sort of dual colors but then you get that sort of salmon pink which lifts the color it stops it being too sort of gray too brown too orange it just gives a bit of a hit to the color and i absolutely love it and i also love the packaging i just think Too Faced know how to package a product and finally another old favorite um i think i used it up last year and i just thought this year now i really need another bottle it's estee lauder it's the bronze goddess and this is not the eau de parfum the eau de parfum is slightly different it's not as 1970s suntan lotion coconut scented this is like well this is the original um i remember when the original was launched and I remember Estee Lauder counter being completely turned over to this scent and I just remember the smell of it and thinking oh, I've got to have it the second year they played with the scent a little bit and gave it a more oriental twist and it spoilt it completely I really didn't like it and then they kind of came back to the original scent but then they brought out the Eau de Parfum as well to sort of give people a choice this for me is coconut it's sweet it's warm it's summer it's glorious um i think they've got a bronzer they've got a body glow there's lots of things in the range but i always go for this fragrance it's just fabulous and it is more a skin scent rather than a perfume but i find it lasts and I can smell it on me and just that warmth and coconut comes through I love it well done Lord of uh, knowing we all like the original but giving other people a choice 
Right, what else in May? May has been incredibly hot and warm and I've done loads in the garden and I bought a peony. Did I mention the peony? Maybe I did. If I did, I'm sorry. I'm so in love with my Sarah Bernhardt peony. Thrilled to have her and she's doing well. So that's good news. And the hot weather has meant that aside from housework and work, I spent a lot of time in the garden reading. And I've got two books for you by the same author, Celeste Ng. The first one she brought out was Everything I Never Told You, and I've reread this a lot. Um, generally with books, I read them and they, they stay on my bookcase because I love them and I know I want to reread them, or I pass them on to my neighbour, or I take them into a charity shop. It works as simple as that. Trouble is, if I go into a charity shop, I generally buy more books. It's very dangerous. Everything I Never Told You. Um, if you've not read it, read it. There's something about Celeste's writing. It's very simple and the story is very simple and straightforward, but it just gathers you in and you read and read and read because you really want to know what's going to happen to these people that you invest a lot of your emotions in. Everything I Never Told You for me is about having a dream and maybe not fulfilling it and then trying to fulfill it through somebody else or pushing somebody else in that direction and maybe not seeing the bigger picture and that other people try and please so badly that it's detrimental to them without speaking out and it's all about what's not said not facing things not talking about things not realizing things and it's very emotional it's uplifting but it's very sad I love it. I love the whole story. I really get into the characters. And often it's about the quiet ones as well who see everything and understand what's going on, but they're almost invisible. Um, a really beautiful, beautiful book. So I reread that. And then the paperback of her new it's one everywhere. came out. So I got that one. And this one again surrounds families and the different variety of families and how people view things and having strong opinions on things and walking away from certain lives and creating your own life that you're happy in but others judge it and don't understand it and also not looking at the bigger picture people who stick their noses into things and think they know what's going on when actually they don't know the full story and they create more chaos by digging deeper um, and it's all the sort of psychology of people I find fascinating in her writing and I sort of got to a point where I just literally had to get through this book and often with things like that I don't want to finish it because it means I finished it but I do want to finish it because I want to know what happens but some beautiful characters some of the characters I didn't think I would like and I ended up preferring them to the characters I thought I did like and make sense and I love that about a writer that they can just move you across and make you feel differently about so so many things but a really beautiful book Celesting is just an incredible author writer creator and they're just beautiful stories so I can't recommend them enough um, everything I never told you and little fires everywhere Celesting and therefore I've been reading I started another one that's going to fall into June so I won't spoil that for you and I think that's it I think that's it for May favourites. Have I anything else to tell you for May favourites? Betty's fine. Craig has been very busy. We've all been very busy. But it's just been glorious. The weather's been glorious. And it's coming into that time of year where we get lots and lots of people on holiday where we live. Appreciating where we live. And it's nice to see people valuing where we live. It can also be irritating because you do get people who come and are still in a rush and get quite impatient and we are a very laid back respectful quiet place and nobody's in a rush who lives here and it's very frustrating and quite disrespectful when people are just so bad tempered because things aren't going in the pace they want so if you are coming down to devon we're slower quieter we enjoy life down here so you know slow it down guys Take it down a level or two or three and you'll enjoy it far more. The number of times I watch people walk literally by my house and the water's there and I have seen people walk by and they've not even seen the wonderful birds on the water. They've not seen 
our wildlife, we have seals, we have seal pups that come into the harbour because everybody's so friendly and gentle with them and I've seen people completely miss the seals, the seal pups, the birds. I've seen people miss dolphins in the water, porpoise in the water because they've been so busy on their phones or just so busy storming ahead. Um, they've missed it, they've missed the beauty and just stop and take it in. That's why you're on holiday, stop and take it in, absorb it, you'll feel so much better, I promise. Right, that's my tourist rant over. I am still, I'm not born and bred Devon, I know I am, you know, but I live here, I put my money into the area, so I'm sort of an adopted Devonian, but I am a Yorkshire lass, I get that. Um, but I feel passionately about people that just come here and think they're going to just stamp all over the place and be obnoxious you're not and you will get told I promise you by lots of us but yeah just wind it down because you miss so much when you're just blinkered like that as a lot of people are right I'm off now I hope you've had a lovely May thank you as ever for your lovely comments hello to new subscribers stay in touch leave a message say hi to everyone we're a friendly bunch here um, you won't get any nasty trolling negativity. We're very supportive of each other. So welcome to the group, the gang, um, the firm, the gaggle. I don't know what it is. It's just lovely. So thank you, everyone, and I will see you in the month of June. Bye for now.